Yeah, it's a lovely day for a start of the season. I mean, these friendlies are fantastic. The, the thing is that Squires Gate need a good gate to uh, get them on the way because they've not been getting any finance. Yeah, picture of Brian, he, uh, he was fighting Muhammad Ali and uh, I was with the son and I was into Blackpool every day photographing him training at Ponting's holiday camp and he was training with his brother Jack and uh, amazing the fitness he had he was he was lifting uh, weights over his head and then his brother across his legs while he went down touched the floor and came up 180 degrees amazing I thought he's gonna he's gonna murder Muhammad Ali he's so fit and so strong but yeah, he was the greatest in the world, Mohammed, no messing. He was having a shower after he finished training and I thought, shower, London showers. It rang a bell so I got him under the shower with the water spraying all over his face. Yeah, yeah it's a fabulous picture, thank you. Yeah. I enjoy the game today. I'll, I'll, yeah, uh... I enjoy them all, you know, I mean, yeah. the thing is, uh, these lads, they give their heart and soul, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's real football, our grassroots, and this is where all football comes from, it? you know. Tom, Rob, and I'm Al. 
Yeah, we started the podcast so a couple of, a couple of months ago now. We started it up. We've uh, been trying to do a podcast for a few years. We've had the idea. So we started one up as a comedy podcast where we discussed the bizarre items that you find in the Middle Isle in the German supermarkets. So items such as decorative clips. <laughs> Yeah, the shape of birds are very nice. I'm not sure what you'd use them for, but that's the kind of thing you find out. They're not allowed to use them outside on the packaging. It says they're not out, so you can't use them. You've got to use them for indoor, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, indoor only, yeah. Rob's got a folding portable sink. <laughs> Always comes in handy, doesn't it? It says on the instructions, not for transportation. Not for live animals. Live animals. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Every week, we scour around uh, probably about 20 mile radius, finding yeah, different bits cool. from Aldi and Lidl. And just literally, the more random it is, the better it usually turns out. I think we're currently sitting at was it, number 17 in the improv all time charts yeah, in the UK. Just, just entered the improv uh, charts for Australia, I think, as well. Wow. So well, there, we've been, we've been listening down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you info on, sorry. Hello. Yeah. We're, on, uh, we're on iTunes, we're on Spotify, uh, any, any good podcast host. Channel basically. Yeah, just search for the Middle Isle podcast, yeah, you're going to find us, yeah. we're absolutely everywhere. We've actually just started um, a couple couple of new um, shows as well, so every Saturday you get a show, Saturday comes out about 12 o'clock, that's the Middle Isle show, and then we release on a Wednesday a new one called The Staff Room, which is more of a bit of a loose talk between us, and then we've got a new one coming out in a few weeks, hopefully we'll have more news on that soon. I'm Johnny, I run the social media for Perry AFC, been doing it since about September last year, after the first home game. Yeah. Um, I didn't get involved initially um, due to just being a fan and <laughs> wanting to watch, but they were asking for volunteers and I decided to pop my name up and that's, that's where it started. We're building a club, you know, um, hopefully bring football back to the town of Bury. It's, it's a town that deserves a football team. It's a t town that deserves a football team that's run the right way. Um, not run by out of town charlatan businessmen that just want to take money out of it. So we've come back in at Northwest County's Division 1 North, which is step six. So I think it's five promotions to the Conference North, and then obviously two to the to the Football League. So, you know, it'd be nice to be back in the Football League within ten years. Do, do, do we expect it? No. But it's just going to be an adventure, isn't it? It's, I'm really looking forward to it, especially with some of the players that we've got. If you go on any social media and just type in Berry AFC, we should come up. Um, and myself, if you just go Johnny underscore base on Twitter, you can connect with me. Um, I'll talk about anything Berry AFC. You know, just get in touch. My background has been a supporter. I've also, uh, my father has passed away some years ago, and then my grandfather as well. So I'm third generation. Uh, I've also got my son and my granddaughter. So there's five generations there of, of football supporters of Bury FC. Uh, and now going forward, as I see it, it's the only only thing that we can do is to be taking ownership of our club. And it seems as though there are a number of other clubs that are, are taking that that um, way of doing things and they're taking control of the club. And if it takes coming down here, it's an all new ball game. Um, but it, it had to be done. Yeah, Squires get in possession as they uh, look to come forward a ball over from Webster. Adam McWilly in possession. Squires Gates in possession there. Number 11 scored!
Keegan yes. Parker's on. All the gates for all clubs, yeah. it's like Rangers, isn't it? you know, not as good as Rangers, but you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's that good. Long league, I make a lot of money out of them. Yeah, great. It's raising the profile, isn't it? Oh. 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 Have you enjoyed it, Keegan? Yeah, it's good. I the, the last uh, kind of a month, the six weeks, I've been getting back a bit fitness. I've been playing some games in Scotland, and uh, it's given me a bit of hunger for it. So I've came down to play a few games for for Squires Gate. It's just uh, good to get back on the pitch again, and I'm sure the match sharpness will come. Um, as I'm lucky with that wee chip as well. Like I say, it's just about getting back and enjoying the game a bit uh, at this, this age, you know. Um, still got something to, to play for on a Saturday. Yeah, and a, and a good win for the team. Yeah, brilliant. I was quite pleased with some of the players we had there. I was down on, uh, down on uh, Thursday night training and uh, some of the young boys looked really good. So um, I'm sure they'll uh, 
they'll come on to a game and do well this season. I'm playing uh, against Blackpool uh, on the 7th of July, eh? but I've not signed me anybody, so I've still got the, the option of coming down here to play some games as well. Right. Just, just kind of if you're playing it week to week, you're getting back, enjoying the game, and a bit of fitness, yeah? Right. So, yeah. So if you want to see Keegan, he's playing against Blackpool in a few weeks' time? Yeah, 7th of July, Friday night that is, eh? Brilliant, thank yeah. you. Excellent for around about 70 minutes, and then we started to tire a little bit towards the end, obviously. You know, when you're 4-1 up, it's very hard to know how to manage the game. You know, there are a lot more players in the squad than us, so, you know, when they play two separate 11s, it is very hard to keep up fitness-wise. Also, it's our first game back as well, so, you know, it was difficult, but we were really pleased with the outcome. You know, I thought that we created plenty of chances and we took our goals really well. Talk through the goals then. First one, penalty. For me, it's a stonewaller, you know, he's, he's, he's got himself in an awkward position and, you know, when you get tapped, you've got to go down, you know, and obviously there's no other man I'd want than Boydie, uh, you know, tucking it away from 12 yards, he doesn't miss him. Um, Dino for the second one, turn and volley, absolutely brilliant, you know, joke with him all the time about his finishing, but he's worked hard on it and, you know, I'm really pleased for him to get that sort of a goal today. It uh, shows that all of his hard work is paying off. Um, third one, good, good, fini good finishing again. Yeah, right? great ball, great ball through, and again one, one on one, showing the keeper the eyes and put it in the other corner. Excellent finish. Yeah. And then, like I said, you know, fourth one was a uh, you know de decent goal. When the ball drops in and around the box, you need your players to be putting the ball in the back of the net, and that's what that's what they've done. You know, I felt that we took the majority of the chances, but at the same time, we probably had three or four that we could have even made it a little bit more comfortable. Off the pitch as well as it was on the pitch, the club's moved on massively. And you know, it's a big thanks to the chairman, Tony Joe. Um, obviously, John Maguire, Taddy behind the scenes who are doing all their bits, but at the same time, it's mine, Andy, Des, Lucy, it's our job to get things right on the pitch and I feel like we're going in the right direction. You know, if you, if you go back to Christmas time, Berry AFC came here and they scored six past us with no reply, you know, and we've shown today that we can compete. Um, we've got to find some consistency especially at home and you know we'll keep looking on the table and hopefully it'll be a good season for us. Andy, another pre-season friendly today uh, against Squires Gate and I bet it was good to get some more minutes under the players' belts. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I um, thought the game was uh, at times very end-to-end -end and um, certainly in, in the latter stages. But I think, um, although we like to say we've got all the players' minutes uh, on the pitch, um, it's just been a frustrating week, week really because we've... Uh, been able to, you know, get out on the pitch on the Monday and the Thursday, get the working, but we've lost a couple of players due to injury, um, and a couple of uh, Greg Daniels and um, John Hunt to illness. So that's frustrating. Um, but then, you know, we're, we're giving some younger boys opportunities and some trials opportunities. So it's a fantastic chance to look at them as well. You talk about the, the younger players in the, the squad, they really had to, to step up today and I thought that the centre-back pairing, certainly in the first half of, of Ayo and, and Jordan, was a, a good uh, good asset for your side. Definitely, you know, we worked on stuff uh, the last couple of weeks on, on uh, certain areas and, and they've got a good understanding of that, the team's got a good understanding of that. We know every pre-season game's a bit different for us because we're Berry and you know, it's, it's a big game for everyone. So we've just got to accept that um, you know, at the minute, it, it, when we do make a mistake in certain areas, um, it, it may lead to getting punished. But as long as come 31st of July, we're starting to eradicate them. And, um, you know, we're demanding of the players this year, um, we want clean sheets because we know we've, we've got fitness levels you know, that are very, very high, but we don't want to be leaving it late in games to, to be picking up uh, results. And obviously, uh, as with all pre-season friendlies, a number of trialists um, in the, the squad today. I know you can't name names, but what were your thoughts on, on their performances today? Yeah, you know, some some were impressive um, in patches. Some, are, are, as you'd imagine, um, you know, not work with uh, the players too much. And, and again, you can do all the training in the world, but until you see some players on the pitch, you you, you, are, you don't know what you're going to get sometimes. Um, but you know, credit to credit to Squires Gate. I thought um, you know they recruited well. Um, and you know they had chances, and I think it's the chances they had they put away. But you know, I look, I'm, I'm always going to look at us and I think the players that we've got in, in our squad, and even the players that are unavailable today, I'm more than happy with where we're, we're at in certain areas. But like we said, um, I, I put it on the players in, in there today in, in terms of each game we've got to be getting better and better. And for me, conceding you know four goals today wasn't uh, wasn't good enough on the defensive side. Um, 
but there are lots and lots of positives to take from today. And obviously the pre-season tour um, rolls on to, to FC United of Manchester. Yeah. Um, next Saturday, obviously, a team from uh, two or three uh, divisions uh, above. I bet you, you look, I know we talked to Jimmy Moore just before and he said he can't wait for the occasion uh, next uh, Saturday. What are your thoughts out of that one? Yeah, again, uh, a com what, what I like about this game is it's a completely different game. Um, you know, because FC are the, the higher place team. Um, and to be honest, like Squires Gate are today, and, and sometimes we need that little bit of a reality check in terms of where we are uh, as a club as well. But, you know, it'll be a very, very tough game next week, no doubt about it. Um, but, you know, we go again Monday, we train Monday, we train our Thursday, hopefully we'll get a couple of the bodies back from injuries and, and um, you know, illnesses. Um, but we'll be a lot stronger from the game today as well. I thought we finished the game very strong. Um, and I honestly, I thought up until, well, obviously, if, if, if we score the penalty, you're thinking, what a fantastic start to that game. But, you know, you're looking at players today that have stepped up to the plate. I thought Lewis Gilboy was sensational at times, and, and you know the goal that he scored was, you know, an excellent goal. He won a penalty. So again, at the minute, we're probably only getting 45 minutes to 50 minutes out of him because he's getting his fitness levels there. But other than that, um, you know, I think we've created a lot today. Um, Adam McWilliams had a chance. Um, you know, a lot of chances late on, so I think all in all, it's, it's a typical kind of pre-season game as it's ended. Um, and like I said, we move on to FC with uh, a lot of positives. Andy's always cheers for time.